Hi Tisha Nees, it's your girl I'm Janae and as you can tell by the title, it is a logical thought. And I'm here with you, already know, it's your girl. TK Yaya in this bitch, you already know what it is, gang. Period. Today we are talking about energy. As you can see, my energy right now is... <laughs> but we're going to get down to the business when your energy becomes very... <laughs> Anyways, um, we're really talking about energy, relationships, like friendships, partnerships, um, business, and vampires, and how you know you're just talking about energy. grocery stores. Cause ooh, this is a little thing. Y'all go stores. know about these motherfucking grocery stores Walmart, today? Target, all these Publix, Costco, Dixie, Green. I believe Publix for real because they too straight, they too professional. Walmart, I feel like you wouldn't say Walmart because Walmart's so ghetto, bitch, but. Publix and Target, Costco. That's Costco. why you always want to do bad shit in Walmart, though. Mm -hmm. You always want to go ride a bike. You want to go. <laughs> bitch, that's why you always want to do bad shit in Walmart because it's so much ghetto energy. Like, ghetto you want to do ghetto ass energy. shit. Um, really, all types of energy. And it's going to be hopping from one talk to another, like a little thought. It said we was first going to be talking about these energy portals. You never really realize that supermarkets have energy portals because when you don't work there you know you usually just like you know you in, in and, out. and out with the energy portals once you work in the energy portal the only reason i could say that both of us vouch for this is because both of us have had experience in working in supermarkets like i currently work in one she's worked in like two or three before so you know what i'm saying we know and i know from my experience from my present experience mm -hmm. from right now so with that being said um when you're working in a um energy like when you're and why i say that these supermarkets are portals is because when you think about it there's constant negative energy and positive energy flowing in and out of the store there are people constantly coming in there's pe people constantly coming out there's energy that's sitting in there all day you know what i'm saying like there's energy everywhere so sometimes you notice if you've ever worked in a supermarket or whatever you know um like when you get the hang of it or whatever or even sometimes when you don't get the hang of it it's just like you know what kind of attitude to carry with certain customers you know what i'm saying certain customers come in your line you know not to say anything certain customers that come in line you know just to say a quick hi certain customers come in you know you can have a mutual conversation but it won't be you know what i'm saying like all that and then some conversations you know what i'm saying you speak to that motherfucker before they get to the line you're like hey how you doing it's all it's crazy when you actually experience because it's like and it's not really like some extravagant ass shit it's not like you can fucking travel through time in a goddamn supermarket it's just like knowing that you can walk into a store and leave out of that store feeling a different way like you just changed your energy you shifted your energy you walked in that store with maybe a negative energy and probably walked out of that store with a positive ass energy and you left that negative energy inside of that supermarket you left that negative energy inside of that building and now you got that positive energy outside of that building you know now i do be happy once i leave the store <laughs> I'm out. It's hot again. When you leave, you get happy as fuck because you like, bitch, I'm about to go. go. Like, I'm about to leave. I got five <laughs> minutes left, bitch. I'm about to <laughs> The next one that we're going to talk about is um, friendships, relationships, like um, dating relationships, friends relationships, and then business relationships. But like, um, with that energy portal, you just have to be more aware of like energy around you and be aware not to take in negative energy you know what i'm saying or not to leech on to somebody's energy just because or you know what i'm saying not even knowing that you've taken in somebody's energy but you've taken in that energy you know how sometimes when you feel a certain way but you don't know why you feel that way or somebody may have just walked past you and now you feel like like no you know bitch, what i'm saying you, you feel some type of way to go to this party you dancing getting ready with your friends lit in the car or lit in the house as soon as you get in the car you you're mad as fuck like at this point it's like bitch, i just want to see how this party looking you get to the party you're mad as fuck at this time you just want to leave 
you don't care where the fuck you go. Exactly. Like, that's me, bro. I'd be happy as fuck in the house, getting ready, looking at myself, all that shit. I get in the car, and now, bitch, I'm mad. I'm ready to go, like, back home. My energy's fucked up. Somebody in that car, it was not, my energy's not comfortable. I get to the party, my energy's not comfortable. You're not comfortable. And y'all be forcing yourself to stand in places that you know you're not comfortable. You bored as fuck. My face, my expression won't tell you. I'm just there like. The face never fucking lies. Bitch, I'm ready to go. Never. I'm confused because. I got the call. Nobody help. else like. I'll help. Shit, in here. What are you looking for? for? Cause I'll help. Now into the relationships, the friendships. Relationships first. Oh, the boyfriend. Relationships. Um, yes, we can really get into that. Um, if you, I would say this, and I would say this ever, all the time, and people be telling me, oh, you don't like skin, I really love them, da, 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 whatever. If you dated somebody and y'all break up, don't get back with them. Don't Not get back, back with them. Energy. Y'all didn't date, but y'all talk, y'all fuck with each other, y'all Don't fall. get back in. Don't, don't get back with them. You don't understand. I did it. So I'm speaking from my experience. I let somebody back into my life, and I'm not expecting them to change. I'm just, it's whatever. They start texting me. Everything they fucking say is pissing me off. Good morning. Pissing me off. How do you sleep? What you doing? Pissing me off. It's the same shit. It's like my energy doesn't want this. They came back in your life to fucking test you. It's a lesson. Exactly. The heck, everybody comes in your life for a reason. You stick with them, you, you fuck with them for that little minute, and then, bitch, when it's time for them to go, they go. God, the universe, whoever the fuck you believe in, Satan, bitch, whoever. They took them out your life now. That means that time, that little little journey, that little Actually, uh, vacation is over with. I don't you know care. what? It's over with. There's times that you have to realize that, because what y'all don't motherfucking know, is sometimes the shit y'all be wishing for, y'all don't know. The devil can make y'all wishes come true, too. The devil answers prayers. The devil can answer the motherfuckers, too. The you forgot. You y'all gotta be very specific, very specific on what you want, too. You can't just you say, I want a boyfriend, I want a girlfriend. You gotta be specific. Because you say you want a boyfriend, they gonna give you this goddamn five foot four nigga you know what i'm saying with a goddamn exactly with some alcoholic problems probably got two three kids living a double life on your ass they gave you a boyfriend you didn't say you wanted a boyfriend that didn't have a girlfriend or any secret life or you know what i'm saying that wasn't stable you and didn't that say anything you didn't say note, that. karma i wanted to say that for relationships you can't tell yourself you can't expect to to fuck another nigga girl, you can't expect to sleep with another girl's you, man and think that you're gonna get into a relationship and it's gonna be a happy relationship. Karma is a thing. You're not going to be in that happy relationship because you're gonna get all. the karma for that thing. At I'm all. not saying it's a bad thing. You can sleep, do what you want to do, do you but just know that you're gonna get your karma for that. You Boy. slept with another girl's man in a happy relationship. He wasn't loyal. He okay. It doesn't matter. That's him. Let them be. You That's, slept with him. You, you think that shit was cute. You didn't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So what? He don't love her. Okay. Fine. Just know that relationship you're in, it's not gonna be the best relationship because you have a lesson to that fucking shit learn. That shit gonna be sitting there whooping your ass. Thing not grad and wheel. Beat the hoe. Beat the hoe. Beat the. You know what I'm saying? The fuck out your ass, ass, and you're gonna be so digmatized, attached, and obsessed, thinking it's love that you stick with it. You can't expect the man to love you by giving him the same thing that he wasn't appreciating, and that's you. Come on. Y'all just don't be understanding that. And that goes for males and females. The thing is, is you think that your last relationship that you, you know what I'm saying, was fucking and sucking on another bitch while you was with another bitch, or you know what I'm saying, you was with another nigga and you sneaking around, you think you get into that relationship and you, you know what I'm saying, you all good, holly jolly, first five months, you all kicking it. But then... That's when the relationship start whooping your ass. Cause mm -hmm. what's good? Did you thought you? <laughs> uh, the devil said you thought you had something. You thought God said, give me that. Thought. <laughs> I wonder why y'all be sitting there clueless as hell, not knowing what the fuck he doing or what the fuck she doing. Because y'all energy that y'all exchange when y'all having checks, cause y'all mad at each other or y'all. <clears throat> not feeling each other no more and now y'all exchange that energy now she not feeling you and you all up on this bitch you know what i'm saying it's because y'all exchange energy y'all need to 
like know when y'all energy is right and when y'all energy is not wrong y'all need to know how to say no or know how to say my energy ain't good right now i'm not trying to give you that type of energy you know what I'm saying? But y'all just be so fucking horny. Yeah, so horny. So desperate for relationships. Y'all just let anybody come in and fuck up your energy. And that's what? My ass ain't in no relationship right now. Because I don't need a relationship right now. I realize that my ass needs to heal. Yeah, because... some people, y'all be rushing relationships because y'all so desperate that y'all need to heal yourself. And y'all, some of y'all, you just, you were just put on this earth. You don't know how the fuck you got here. You don't remember what your mission was. Your assignment was what you agreed. And the you thing know, is, bitch, life this come shit with is nothing. This fucking skin, this hair, nothing is all that matters deep down. And I'm not talking about no fucking beating heart either. Exactly. I'm not talking about no veins, bitch. The soul. For, take time to figure out who you are and what you're meant to do. Love yourself. Everybody, I'm, I'm seeing females. Y'all don't want to be. Y'all don't want to see yourself 24 in your own apartment, driving your own car, saying you single. You come home, you take a bath, you clean your place, you and your nice PJs watching TV by 10 p.m., drinking, eating your food, in your comfort, in your house, knowing you're that boss bitch, you got your shit. Females who do that shit at right now, females who got that shit right now, 24, 23, 25, 30, I love y'all. I look up to you guys. Y'all bitches be 23 with four kids, 20, 20. I know a girl who's 20 and she got three kids. I'm 20. That makes me scared. That makes me scared, bitch. You need to pay attention to how people talk to you and how they disrespect you. And y'all think that shit cute. Y'all think, oh, we arguing every time because it's the arguing phase. No. I believe you can be in a relationship with somebody Without and never I. argue. And never have no disagreements. Understand. Well, y'all have disagreements like, well, I don't want to eat there. But never like, oh, no, 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 no. Respect and that. You can have I understand what you mean. Oh, no, I don't like Biden. I like Trump. You feel me? Y'all can have y'all disagreements. You feel me? Exactly. But those arguments where a, a man will literally tell you, I hate you. And y'all come out. You a bitch. He, yeah, he'll come back. Oh, I was, I was just mad. Friend. I was just mad. Nah, so, like, you sorry. really felt like that. He really did. That's the thing about it. Y'all motherfuckers don't under that, understand that shit. I'm sorry. Y'all don't understand that shit. Y'all don't understand that shit. Enter, when a don't. nigga tell you while y'all arguing, fuck you, you bitch, I, I hate, hate you. you. You a cheating ass hoe. You do this. When a motherfucker tell you that shit when they're mad or like when they feeling some type of way or when y'all having like a disagreement about something. I did. I'm just trying to put my feet on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So like whenever y'all have situations like that. Motherfuckers really be meaning that shit, and it may not be them, but their soul actually means that shit. Like that's what y'all other don't understand. Understand is y'all body is a temple. Specifically speaking, your soul is a temple. So what you feed your soul is how you gonna feel. That's what you gonna do. I kind of wanna tell them about that demon with the alcoholic shit. We can. I can like you feel me because sometimes you feel um when you get drunk. Da, 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 when you get drunk. Side note, when you get Drinking drunk, you liquor, can get super... There's spirits and there's you feel spirits me? When you get drunk liquor. and you're really fucked up and you start walking all crazy, there's this thing on TikTok with this reading, like, y'all should read that shit, bro. It was like, you get really drunk, it's, that's, it's the demons and the spirits trying to make you fall down. Once you fall down, you get a bruise. The only way they can enter your body, really, is through a cut, through blood. Once but, you fall down, you get that little bruise, that little... You don't even know sometimes you be bruised. Sometimes you fall down, you're like, oh, I'm fine, but you got a small little cut on your finger and shit. They're entering your body and they could stay in your body and do damage, do whatever the fuck they want to do for however long. That's why you be in the club drunk, you see somebody drunk as fuck, sweaty as fuck, and they Can we have a threesome with your best friend? She said they quit, they had no time to cut on Netflix. They get to pick like, and they're just like, damn, they lit. They lit? The bitch, they lit on what? All up bitch, in bitch. Lit on what? What they lit on? On fire? Lit on demons, bitch. Bitch, the fuck? And let me tell thing. you. Okay, and, so. And, hold on. The demons, I feel like sometimes y'all is not protected all the way. Most people is not protected. Y'all do protected. not protect yourself. Some of y'all not protected. Because they don't protected. know about it. Mm -hmm. You can't blame them for that. Life so, don't come with a man. So they stay in your body for super fucking long. And y'all continue to drink because y'all just drink. Y'all drinking every day. Y'all keep feeding it to them. Y'all feeding the alcoholic what it wants. Y'all feeding that demon up inside you. It's continuing to stay longer. It's bow it up, bow it up. That's how we ball out. Controlling you. So now when you get angry and you're fucking drunk and you're arguing with your girlfriend, you're saying all that shit, man, come on now. Come on now. And the girl energy getting like, bro, the girl came in this relationship, a sweet little girl, and now look at her. Dressing with tights and a sweater over her, wearing socks and slides. Bro. Hair not even did, just smoking weed in the house, skinny as fuck. Little girl. Yeah, the poor little girl. But yeah, 
Y'all just let negative energies, negative intent, in, entity, and in, how the fuck you say it? Entities. Entities <laughs> into your body, bro. Into your Listen, energy. What Careful. the thing is, Careful. when you drink, period, you drink spirits. They literally have it on the fucking bottle. I wish I could show y'all. What you mean? It's it's a couple, bro. I mm. ain't never seen nobody that says you're drinking a demon. No, 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 not drinking a demon. It says spirit. Something in spirits. I don't know. Let me look up. That's the one I could find on spot. Oh, my phone is so fucked up. But yeah, I feel like I had I had a dream that day. Right? Mm -hmm. It just said, God, it said, come with me. Come with me. I come said, me. no! Oh, what other dreams have I had? Oh, I had another dream where the world ended and the sun was coming closer to the world, you know, to the land and shit like that. And I was in green pastures and a big land of green pastures, bouldered rocks, and everybody's crouching, hiding behind the rocks. And I looked behind me and I saw a bunch of trees. It was like trees behind me, trees on the side, trees on the side. But it's a big green flat land with no trees in the middle. And you just see the big sun in the sky. And I'm looking, I see the trees. And I look back and I see the sun coming. I mean, I'm like, what the fuck? And I look down and I see a blanket in my hand. My sister and my, my sisters, both of them, and my mom are next to me. Then the sun comes. I see everybody just coming, covering themselves with the blanket. So, bitch, as the sun was coming closer, it went, phew, I covered my mom and my sisters. Cover thy brothers and sisters, cover thy mother. And I did that. I covered my brother and my sister. I, covered, I mean, brother and sister! I don't got no brother. I covered my sisters and my mom. I don't know if he get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I covered them with the blanket. I guess it protect them from the sun, killing them or something. So I don't know. I woke up once the sun hit us. Bitch, I covered them. The sun hit me, bitch. I woke up. I died in the flames. Ah, that shit is fucking crazy. I had a lot of crazy. I have one where I was hiding in a lake from three killers. Yep, each one had a weapon for me and my friends. It was three of us and it was three killers. Bitch, I'm in the fucking lake, I'm hiding under those green little tag police or something like that. And I got a fucking straw deep down trying to breathe and shit. Bitch, and they're standing right there over the lake looking and shit. Like they know I'm there, bitch. I don't know. Then I look up. I mean, I, I love being, I, you don't understand. I don't know. I don't, I don't got nothing else to say, bro. Bye y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was good seeing y'all. If y'all fuck with the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to share to all your friends, Comment. TikTok, Instagram. Make sure y'all follow us. And if you liked it, subscribe, hit that follow button, leave a comment, make sure let us know what you think. Peace out. She said everything. I don't really got nothing else to say. <laughs> Alright, so y'all heard it. Like, comment, subscribe. Come back for another video. I don't know when I'm going to post. And don't rush me. Alright? Mental health is the great health. Bye, C. Shady.